A Holly family is trying to rebuild their life after a house fire destroyed their home. We first told you about the fire on Thursday. It started from a heat lamp in the bathroom and caused significant damage. The homeowner spoke with Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop about her biggest concern and what all people should know during this time of year. It started in that light fixture right there, and we got out okay, so that's the big thing. Houses can be replaced. Jody Lean remembers placing her disabled son in the wheelchair and pushing him out of the house with three other kids behind her while the house was on fire. Once the shock and the adrenaline wears off, then the tears come. And it's just a little bit more every day. Like the kids will realize that, oh, Oh, that I, oh, oh, that's gone. Photos show extensive water and smoke damage throughout the home, with the ceilings even caving in. Lean says she's thankful for the fire crews and their work with saving a few special items. My fiance had an old, old picture hanging at the end of the hall of one of, I think it was his great, great grandpa. They brought that out. They threw a bunch of the kids' stuff on the bottom bunk, probably knowing the ceilings were gonna cave in. Donations of clothing and food came pouring into the family just hours after they became homeless. It just, it touched your heart. It was, you know, when we saw all that afterwards, it was, it was just incredible. A local hotel is allowing them to stay for a month so they can get on their feet. But Lean is trying to figure out her next steps. I can't imagine being anywhere else. She wants her and her children to stay in the Holly community. That's our big concern right now is we don't know where we're going to stay where all of us can fit. Because my son needs his own room because he has a nurse there all the time. We have a trailer on the property, but there's not enough room for all of us, so we might have to be split up. Lean says she has advice for others because she doesn't want to see anyone go through this. I would say when you turn your heat on for the first time, stick around for the first few times. You know, when you smell that dust burning off. Don't turn it on and go to bed or don't turn it on and go to work. Stay there. In Holly, Minnesota, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Lean is working with the insurance company and says she knows the fire could have been worse if it wasn't for the quick response from the volunteer fire departments.